And my name is Anita Marsden. I'm 80 years old. I was born in 38 and in Walton in Liverpool. And I went to live in Talacra when I was roughly 18 months to two years. And we moved at the end of 39, the beginning of 40, to live on the Warren. In 1934, my dad built a bungalow for me gran and granddad for summer holidays. And then when war broke out, he decided he'd build one for us to live in. And he brought all the timber by train from Liverpool, because we had a station in Talacra then. And then he transported everything on a cart all the way onto the Warren, dug all the footings out himself and built it so that once war broke out and the bombs started dropping, he brought me and my mother to Talacra. My dad was bombed because he couldn't leave because he was on the docks. He worked for the White Star Line. He had quite an important job, so he just came out at weekends. I can always remember, it was early evening in the winter and they were taking us for a walk all the way along the Warren and up onto the Cobb. And you could see straight across to Liverpool from the Cobb. He said to me, he said, look, love, the Germans are at it again. And it was just a big glow in the sky. And of course, that was Liverpool being bombed left, right and centre. The Warren itself was a target area. And the RAF used to come out and used to put sheets out on the Warren. And the Spitfires would come in and it was target practising on these sheets. Now, if you lived at the Gromont end, there was a flag up. And if you lived in the village of Talacra, so you were at the other end, there was a flag up, so you knew that the Spitfires were coming in. But those of us that lived on the Warren, until we heard the Spitfires coming in, we didn't know the flags were up. <laughs> when I tell this story, people, they just can't understand how we survived. But we did because we just knew what to do. I mean, I know I did get caught out once. My mum had got some friends over and they had a little boy with them. I was only about maybe four and she said to go play with him in the garden. And I'm afraid I was a very adventurous child. So the garden to me was anywhere on the Warren. So off he goes with this little kid alongside me, exploring everywhere until the Spitfires came in. <laughs> Luckily, all the bungalows were basically on stilts. So we went underneath the bungalow. <laughs> And we waited until they finished firing and then went back home. I did get a good hiding for that. <laughs> the thing that we used to love doing was after they'd finished going out and collecting all the casings off the bullets. Things were hard, but it was as if we didn't have a care in the world. And yet there was a war going on. So you could hear the planes at night. They used to go overhead because they were coming in from Ireland way. So they'd come in up the D estuary to go to Liverpool. But it didn't seem to affect us because we were in like a little cocoon of our own. We were safe and sound. And yet it was all around us. I know it sounds daft, there was a war on, but it was a wonderful life. 